We're here at the Somerset Patrium Stadium and for Operation Shoebox, and I'm here with... Rod Hirsch, Founder and Executive Director. And Rob, how did you get involved with the Shoebox? Uh, we started Shoebox about eight years ago um, in, in an effort to try and uh, keep uh, personal care supplies going overseas to our troops, and we do it with all volunteers. And uh, we've sent about 60, 7,000 boxes overseas since we started eight years ago. Oh, terrific. And now, where do you get your donations from? All of our donations come in from uh, schools, civic organizations, uh, uh, churches, temples. Uh, we do a lot of work on the weekends at supermarkets collecting donations. Um, we do events here at the ballpark where people bring donations to okay. us, that kind of thing. Oh, it's a great thing. You're doing a wonderful Thank you. thing. Thank you. Thank you. So what are we doing here today then? Well, Operation Shoebox New Jersey is the uh, sponsor of today's game. We're calling it a Stars and Stripes celebration. And uh, as part of our sponsorship, uh, we have purchased the special commemorative uniforms that the players will be wearing today and today only. Uh, across the front of the jersey where it says Patriots, it's like the field of the American flag. The P is the blue field and the white stars, and then the rest of the Patriots is the red and white stripes. Um, What's going to happen is uh, people, as you can see behind us, are purchasing chances. And uh, they're dropping those chances into each of the buckets, which represents each of the players. Okay. And uh, we'll be doing that for the first six innings of the game, at which point we're then going to draw a, a ticket out of the bucket. Now, what that's going to entitle the winner to is the jersey, but um, they're not going to get it until the end of the game. At the end of the game, they get to go down onto the field, and the player is literally going to take it off of their back dirty and sweaty and everything else, they're going to autograph it and then it'll become, you know, the person's, uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a different concept and uh, it, it seems to be, uh, you know, we seem to be doing pretty well with it. So we'll see by the end of the game. Awesome. It sounds, it's an awesome cause and um, great Thank to you. be here. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jen and we're here at the Patriot Stadium with um, Staff Sergeant Luthman. And we are here for Operation Shoebox and um, we also have? This is Far. She's a retired military working dog. She was an explosive detector dog. And then, how did you get involved? What did made you to go into with the K-9 unit? Well, as an Air Force Security Forces member, after four years of service, I uh, volunteered to become a military working dog handler. As a military working dog handler, you go through training, uh, how to work the dog, how to how to take care of the dog, and eventually you uh, go on to deploy with the dog. And then, how long t uh, have you two been together? Uh, well, Farah's retired now, so we've had her at home for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, prior to that, I worked her for almost two years, and we deployed to Afghanistan together for six months. And then when you're there, you're by each other's side constantly? In Afghanistan, uh, every day you're with the dog. Uh, you're the only one responsible. Uh, you're deployed as a team from wherever you're from. We were from Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakers, which is in southern New Jersey. Uh, and you, you bathe them, you groom them. You feed them. Uh, no one else is going to take care of them. Uh, even veterinary care is uh, hard to come by, so you have to be trained up and, and ready to take care of the dog. So then what are the dogs used for when you're over in uh, Afghanistan? Uh, traditionally, the dogs are used as explosive detector dogs, meaning uh, they find explosive, uh, improvised explosive devices, IEDs. Uh, they can also find weapon caches, uh, bomb-making materials, weapons, stuff like that. Uh, the dogs have a keen sense of smell, uh, some 100,000 times better than the human scent. Uh, and they're out there in front with us uh, in the ditches on the front line mm -hmm. uh, looking for these bombs that could potentially harm uh, U.S. service members. And how many dogs are over there at the same time? Um, there's hundreds. Uh, I don't have an exact number, right. but at any given time, there's uh, 100 dogs working. Typically, any time soldiers are out on a mission, there's at least one dog with them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So you can imagine that's a lot of dogs. Right, definitely. So then... Um, have you been a recipient of uh, the Operation Shoeboxes? Uh, certainly. Uh, several times during my deployment, we received multiple packages from Operation Shoebox, for which we're very thankful for. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great to see uh, support from uh, the U.S. while you're over there, and that stuff comes in handy, and it's, just, it's a good uh, morale booster. Well, thank you so much for taking your time and coming out and speaking with us on camera, and um, we appreciate everything that you and everyone else in the service does for us and being able to do what we do here. That's no problem. It's a pleasure to serve. Uh, as you can imagine, I have a great job, and I'm glad to do it. Well, thank you again. We all do appreciate it. Hi, I'm here with Brielle Luthman. And your husband and the dog have recently come home from service? 
Yeah, about um, three months ago, they just came back from Oman. Wow, so you've been home um, keeping the house settled. Yeah, actually, Farah retired about a year ago, and Kyle had left for Oman just about um, two months after that. So me and Farah have been home together for six months and got to spend some good bonding time together. That's awesome. Um, and how long have you been married? Um, we've been married three years yesterday, or three years on the third. <laughs> Very nice. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, is there anything else that you would love to say about Operation Shoebox? Um, I just want to say that I'm very thankful for Operation Shoebox. I know it's hard for the guys when they're serving over there without their families, and it's nice to get a little touch of home. Um, they don't get to have a lot of the amenities that they do at home, so just to have a little bit of snacks and the Girl Scout cookies and just the little touch of home and the letters that everyone writes to them um, that get put in the box, I know it means a lot to them. Well, that's super sweet. and. Um we appreciate you being, you know, sitting home while your husband is out fighting for our country. And again, we appreciate you and for everything that you put on the line for us also. Thank you very much. Thank you for sitting and talking with me. <laughs> Not a problem. Hi, I'm Jen, and we are at Somerset Patriot Stadium with Operation Shoebox, and I'm with? Nels Luthman. And tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, why we're here today. Well, we're here to support Operation Shoebox. I'm a Vietnam veteran and a dog handler. Uh, one of the interesting things is that, you know, we didn't get many care packages from home. And during that war, and it would have meant a lot if we had gotten packages from home. We viewed people back in the States as another world when we were in Vietnam. And sometimes there was a big disconnect. So any type of message from home or anything from home, any type of thing would have been greatly appreciated. So from a veteran's point of view, anything that I can do to help a vet being one is, is very important to me. I'm also a dog handler, I was a dog handler, past tense, and unfortunately I didn't get to bring my dog home. Uh, he was one of the 204 that did get out of Vietnam, out of the 5,000, but most of them were put down. And you work with a dog for a year, and you live and sleep with them, uh, you develop a very close relationship. And unfortunately, that came to an abrupt end when I went home. And I didn't find out till 2002 what happened to my dog. Finally, the Army released the records. So the dog had stayed there? Dog, mine was one of the 204 that got out. He spent the last two years at Lackland before he passed away. But the Army would not tell us for all those years where our mm -hmm. dogs or what the disposition was. So back then at that time, you weren't able to bring your dog home with you no. and the have them retire? One of the organizations that I'm a member of, the Vietnam Dog Handlers Association, uh, piled up with PetSmart and basically started the awareness uh, to make a memorial for the dogs and at the same time press for legislation to change that policy. And Kyle's one of the benefactors. Very nice. Now, what made you get into the dog handling? Uh, I was at Fort Polk in advanced infantry training, and everybody was going to Vietnam. They came down, and they said, well, you, there's two choices you could have besides being infantry. You can go into EOD, take bombs apart, or go to combat tracker school, or be infantry. I always loved dogs. I said, you know what? I went to combat tracker school for six months at, at Fort Gordon. At that time, every branch had their own dog training facilities. So I was trained as a tracker, and I went to Vietnam. I worked in a line company for a while, and then I got transferred to the 48th Scout Dog in Da Nang. I was a professional first walker. It was my job. Was there anything else that you'd like to say? Yes, like I said, I'm here to support Operation Shoebox because it, it means so much to veterans when they get something from home. You're, you're away, you're lonely, and you're deployed, and you're in, let's face it, harm's way. And just to get something, you know, from somebody back in the States means a lot. So my hands to Operation Shoebox for what they do, and I for would support sure. them in any way I can. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming on and uh, talking with us. And again, thank you for so much for your service for our country. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jen. We're at Somerset Patriot Stadium, and I'm here with... Steve Zampella. And you are selling Rita's today. We're selling Rita's from uh, our stores that are in Bridgewater and Somerset, New Jersey. And have you been here working this event? Uh, we've been here for uh, we've been here for uh, three years now. Every year is getting better and better. And uh, we make our ice daily, and bring it for all 70 home games, and uh, we just enjoy it. The hotter the wet, better the wetter. Awesome.